Can we look at excess PA? Expa. Expa is on downtrend. It's in oversold position now. Williams R is minus 88. RSI is 38.86, but it's still downward. So you could expect it to go down further. It has been consolidating in this channel, but overall trend looks downward. I would say it's better to hold. You could consider to average down a bit if your buying price is higher. What's your buying price, Aditya? It's a 2.3, Kamal. I think you might wait up to election since it's a downward trend. After the elections, when it starts taking uptrend, you could consider to buy some more so that it brings down your average. With 2.3, you can expect that once it starts taking uptrend, you would be able to sell at profit because even the nearest resistance is 2.53. Okay. So for now, up to election, I would suggest to just watch. And on a day, you see that there is last sell-off on that day or maybe next day when it starts taking up. That time, you could buy some more to average down. Got it. Thanks. Welcome. Earnings date. Let's just see. Its earnings is on November 11th. So you might keep a watch on that as well. Any other questions, Aditya, for this? Uh, no, I think it's clear. I think Damanjit, what question that he's not holding, but he's looking to enter. So I think he wants to know what would be the best price to buy. Okay. We draw a trend line horizontal ray. Just reduce this. I think with the current price, since it's on downward trend, there's a weak support at 1.65. So you might wait up to 1.65. And if it starts reversing around 1.65, that looks to be a good buy price for this. And with a stop loss of 1.13. So maybe a stop loss of 1.15. So close to 50 cents stop loss with immediate target of around 2.5 dollars and if it spikes further might at next target of 4.5 which looks good as risk to reward ratio would be higher 50 cents of stop, stop loss with a immediate profit of close to one dollar and next is three dollars so it, it could be good to enter considering that when it spikes it can spike even further as we had seen in June first week, it crossed even 8.75. Is that okay? Yeah, thanks, Kamal. You're welcome. Aditya, do you have any other stock to look or shall we go with Apple? Uh, I think yeah, we can go with Apple and others. I think this is the main one that I had. I think if no one has anything in the future, I think I'll let you know. Come. Thank you so much. For You're that. welcome. So let's take Apple. Okay. Yeah, there was a heavy sell-off both on 28th of, of October and last trading day of, of the week on 30th. It was expected because of the elections and the volatility that we have been observing for about a, over a month due to elections and expected to have this kind of volatility even this week. Are you holding it or you are planning to buy it? Uh, yeah, I'm planning to enter. I mean, the last week was due to earnings and then the elections as well. Right. So there was a lot and most of the technology stocks on Wednesday and Friday. If you are looking to enter, let me draw ratio for this as you can see both Williams are and RSI are downward you could expect it to drop down further and since we have a gap here I would expect the next support to be somewhere close to 103 you can keep a buy limit at 103 and okay. try to buy after the election date as anything can happen. The current closing, which it gave at 1011, though it touched at 107, but gave a closing at 111. It's still above support that it had at this around September last week. So I still expect that it might go down further, irrespective of the election results. So you, safer would okay. be to wait. And yes. uh, yeah, around 103 so it looks to be... Uh, good buy price for for me as of now so you can set the buy limit at 103 and keep a watch okay but there are less chances 
is a reversal right based on the election results or based on the election day news i would say most of the stock trend would depend on that chances of major stocks going down are higher as we have seen on friday that's why okay. it, it's safer to wait until that happens it has been a trend that during the elections the market goes down so okay. if you get in early you might get at a little higher price better to wait until market is more clearer okay say. yeah thank you yeah. yeah if you would like to have a number in mind of, of what price would be better to get in so this 103 for apple looks to be good as of now and for sell target immediate sell target could be at 125 and if you are planning to hold for long term a buy price of 103 or even lower would be even more better if it goes down below 103 since it it's a weak support if it drops down further you could see here that there is a gap here if it drops down further then price of under 100 dollar which is 99 dollar would be good price and this could be for okay. uh, long term if you are buying for short term even if you buy at 103 sell it at some profit and then buy it again that would work out. okay and how sooner can i expect this short term target like in this year or early next year maybe this so, 125 so as you could see this 125 was on 13th of october which is like about a month time Sim- yeah. similar time once the market starts rallying it might take even lesser time if the market dips more then it might take more than a month but roughly around 2 to 6 weeks of time okay okay makes sense it. yeah and regarding since its earnings is out maybe it would be worth to check when is the next dividend date uh, once you are buying then you can also keep a check on its dividend because apple does give dividend as well so last month okay. on 13th was its earning and it gave dividend on 7th so you could uh, check when is its uh, dividend date okay yeah so uh, usually people buy before x dividend date so that they can get the dividend as well yep thank you you welcome so shall we go to next stock yep please so next one is dkng is it also on nasdaq uh yes draft king is on downtrend since sec- 5th of october yeah due to major events being cancelled because of covid so it largely depends on the games and everything sports activities actually okay they are into internet services right so since it's on downtrend and it has still not reached its support levels it was consolidating for a long time within this channel of around 43 to 29 dollars and then it had a spike and after the spike it rallied for a, about a month and then it has started falling down are you holding this or you are planning to enter this one as well i am planning to enter i am not holding i just watching it like since it was like 65 i think mm-hmm. so i am watching it falling so yeah, i'm still tracking it that's good so it looks that it could be good to enter let's see at what price you can enter Hi Kamal. Yeah, hi. Hi Tiger. Yeah. Uh just move it to the little left towards the yeah. 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 I was just extending it with that level. No, no, it's fine. So put it till green can. Yes. So for this around 30 can be a good, can be a good point. Yeah. So a buy price around $30, 30 or 31 uh, with okay. a low 30s right yeah around 31 and with a stop loss like on 27.5 27 27.68 yeah 27.5 yeah okay yeah what it has a good upside potential as you have been observing so yeah once it starts rally if you keep target of around 65 and you buy around Thirty-one dollars, so it would be double. So yep, yep. Thirty-one looks to be a good buy price. Okay. Yeah, and uh, what is the earning? Can you check the earnings. 
expected earning expected negative earning is negative and it's and on the previous earning previous earning were also, also negative, negative and of before the earning it was falling down two days before it went up and then again when started going up previous earnings go back it was so positive it was positive and after that on, on that going up yeah on that day it went up the next day also it went up so okay so um depend uh, on earning is was there any news can you check the news why it started falling down drastically after it made a high of 65 yeah this one the date was in october and so from 5th of 5th october, october yeah check what happened in fifth of october there was offering stock offering reported at 52 dollars also when the 52 per ship will be the matter to bring it in 52 so it should so there was a selling pressure because of this the price came back towards yeah. this level of 52 and then again they still the pressure continued and it fell down so okay you can enter 31 and your target should be the long term 65 may be or may not be achieved at this stage but it has already lost a lot of uh, like around 45% of its original value so if you enter around by 31 and exit rear in the second level of 37 that can be a good choice without blocking your capital for a long time just trade between these two lines between okay. this 30 and 37 So don't hold for too long. Maybe it don't go, for sure. It will not go straight to sixty five. It will have some like ups and downs. So between support and resistances, you can you know exit and then re-enter. So that that can be a plan for this because the earning date is also near, and by the earnings, uh, it may fall down due to earning pressure. So earning is on like thirteenth. So today, like two weeks from now, almost. So you continue watching this stock till I would say. close to the earning period and see how it how it behaves but if it crosses below 30 this 30.98 value then don't enter and then it will start falling down drastically to the next level because if the support level is once broken the stock falls with the like accelerated pace towards its next support level so you have to wait till it has actually taken a support and for, has formed one green candle above its support line So that that's a point. That will be your entry point, actually. So look closely okay. for that. Expectedly, it will be like thirty-one. But okay, since Thanks. the earnings are also near, so thirty-one may not hold good, and we may see uh, a pre- selling pressure, further selling pressure as well, because of the earnings and they are negative. And from the previous earnings, there's no clear trend actually what's going to happen. If you see the two previous earnings, it's not very much clear. Yeah. yeah, and so that that can be that can be your strategy on this. Thanks, Sir. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we don't have a week today with us, and we will continue for the next. Shall we, shall we go to next? Yep. Yep. Triple B Y. I think we discussed this one last. last yeah, I saw this one last week. That's great. I understand bed and bath, but but what is beyond? Why the name beyond bath? It come. They have uh, products which you can use uh, not only for these but for other things as well. Mostly okay. scents, perfumes. Okay, uh, this one also falling down. Volumes are very low. I won't recommend anyone to trade in this stock because of these volumes. Look at the volumes; these are like pretty low, sort of illiquid stock, and then it has a gap up opening here where you just pointed your cursor, fourteen to six seventeen, and then it's falling down. It may close its gap again. And if we look at the size of the candles, like how it is falling down on the last two days. Last two days fell down from go little up. Yeah, this one twenty two. Yeah, twenty two till around like nineteen three dollars and then one dollar again. So this one might not be a very good idea to trade in this stock. 
just go back and check the previous history what was its its levels before if we go like 68124 or pre covid times it has not had a stable level any time maximum it was going till like 15 and yeah this time it maybe it was a 52 week high or something like that so it it won't be a stable one so it will come back again to its original level so to its average price yeah and because and of it there's a gap yeah. up as as well so it will close its gap if someone is holding it just sell it before it loses its further value and try to get rid of this rsi is also continuously falling down and so it will take a little time to come up again and it may not reach the same levels it can so if you are trying to buy this it won't be a recommended one because there are so many okay. other better opportunities to invest in rather than uh, spending in this stock but if you, somehow you have already entered in the stock so try to sell at as soon as possible like you know if you can get a higher price just get rid of it because it will eventually go down to its uh, its original values of which uh, is what, on average what could of be that okay an average okay. of 15 because in okay. the in the history we have checked the history uh, come on, can, can we zoom uh, zoom out so that we can have a larger values on the same page yeah, more zoom out no no matter the candles get shrinked yep that's fine i think we have like large large chart now yeah, so these values were in 17 okay from 17 falling down 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 and then in 2020 what was the average in 19 and 20 look 19 and 20 it was trading an on an average of like maximum of 15 and then it made a low of 7 as well 7 and like 4 yeah. pre covid yeah. i think that was the covid times during the covid it hit around 4 or like little below 4 level 4 yep yep yeah. so after the covid it has started taking up so it has retraced its previous value when you use a retracement one of the thing is like uh, this point you can see here is stop stop here so at the level of 4 go back uh, zoom out i want to see pre covid and post covid so this is uh, yeah. the crash uh, in, in in december yeah yeah this was a value so uh, so this one was a value to pre covid and uh, it made a low of 3.5 and then again it went back to its normal its normal level so normal level was like 16 so it has already crossed its normal level it has retraced it has fully retraced its value whatever it has lost previously by crossing the level of 16 it was like it's now around 18 or 19 so it has fully recovered from its covid impact and now uh, it will come back to its normal levels because of these gaps and when this gap is filled it will be a normal level of around 15 okay can this be a good option for put options uh i normally don't trade in the options so i can't really okay. recommend or i can't comment on that okay sorry i missed what was your average price for this if you are holding around 15 no. are, you, are you holding this i know i sold it last week oh, okay. it went to 25 so uh, vivek what... sir suggested i should sell yeah, yeah that's that, great that's really nice that's great then okay do you can okay do okay. you can is dead this is totally dead so they down the dividend yeah 0.37 earnings and the dividend is how much 0.12 on 29th october so on 29th october our last session was on 29th right on 30th on 30th Okay, so it has already became became ex dividend, so it has lost its value of the dividend. So this is the price there, and where is there support? Can you draw a support line here? Yeah, somewhere at this level. Yeah, I think it will drop since it's an ex dividend date. Yeah, like this one, and then the sub S two. Yeah, but yeah, this one is S one, and then the S two will be even. lower than that or we can call it s2 and s1 we draw it a little higher on its current values this s1 and s1. then which is likely to be broken 
because of the x dividend although the dividend was small and seems that it has partially taken the impact of the x dividend things okay these two are the levels but if you check the history it is in a long term consolidation phase for a very long time like from march okay there was some spike and then the other spike was in june so from july till now it is in a long consolidation phase so it is not moving at all even the un earning date and the dividend wasn't able to make a spike in this stock normally if a stock is, ha is having a positive eps and they are announcing a dividend so before that you might see a rise in the price but we didn't see in this case there was no movement even because of the earnings so to me it seems like a long consolidation phase and once a stock uh, is in consolidation you don't enter in that stock unless the stock breaks that consolidation level on either side either it goes up or either it goes down so when it, it starts going up or down only then you plan your trade so at this point of time, uh, you shouldn't be planning any trade in this stock unless it breaks its consolidation level. And it is expected that it may go a little bit more further because of this dividend things, X dividend impact, 13.88, and then after that, it will come back again. So it's not uh, actually recommended stock to invest in at this point. Maybe in future, it can be a recommended one, but at this point of time, since it is a long consolidation phase, after consolidation, you don't know whether it, it will go up or down. So better not to not to hold this. And you don't know even like for how long you're going to hold it. So better to like stay away from this. Yeah. What do you think Kamal on that? Yeah, I, even I agree with this. Uh, it's in consolidation phase. And at this price level, the uh, moment that it is giving it, it won't be worth to enter considering that it's in X dividend date and it it would drop further uh, since pe people, those who would have bought this for dividend, now they will start selling it off. So it would drop further in this coming week. Yeah, and I think a parcel impact has already been seen because the last, uh, on 29th, when the dividend was there, it was like 14.39 was the closing. And then on the next day, when we came, the X people already did some sort of selling and price fell down to 14.2 or 14.1, but gave a closing little higher. So actually on 30th, the price is less than the 29th, which shows some sort of a selling activity after the after the dividend date. So, but maybe still there is some more selling coming in. So it may go a little bit further down, or if not, then it will consolidate again. 